Also known as Iris Science, representing dilated people's rock steady pool universal zoom nation. Yeah, so that was uh, the title track of Crown of Thorns, so it's called Crown of Thorns, featuring my man Aloe Black. The song was actually um, very important just because it's speaking on a lot of personal issues, a lot of group issues. It's answering some of the questions people may have about God on the people. Uh, but it's also kind of exploring what, what artists really go through on a, on a typical show night, like the other side of it. We party, we have a good time, we just want to get this back to you. You're gonna be jealous. Jealousy kicks in. Oh. Wow. That's dope. Hey, area. Where area? Represent. It's kind of hard to get me in the studio. You know, once I'm in there, I get focused and do what I have to do and respect it for what it is. But when I get in the studio, it's like I've been away and they welcome me home. It's like, hey, what up? It's been a while. You know, because they're always in the lab, no matter what. Right now, I guarantee you, Babs is with his kids. He's making beats or something or working on some turntable routine. And, you know, Ed, as you can hear, is making beats, so there's no easy to even question that. But me, I have a lot of stuff going on, so. You know, I'm, I'm traveling, I'm hosting, I'm doing a lot of different things. But yeah, when I do get into studio mode, it's like a homecoming, you know, it's all family. So yeah, of course my dilated family is the first family. Oh, it was on a funny loop. That was whack. Uh, right Sorry about that. That was actually the second beat I picked for Crown of Thorns. I wrote the song uh, originally as a crazy story. It was a very elaborate story, and, but I felt like it needed to be a little more personal than just a crazy, you know, Hollywood caper to rhyme. So I ended up actually tapping into something a little more personal for that one. That's actually the first single. We shot the video. That's the first video. And uh, now that it's all said and done. I definitely appreciate the inspiration. Now, my good people, as we proceed to give you what you need, dilated people set speed into mead. Madline has the boss DJs, and these dilated MCs we don't. Woo! Here's the money. Woo! Woo! Observatory was actually the last song I recorded for Crown of Thorns, and uh, produced by my man King Jazzy, PC King Jazzy. That was actually an interesting song. I had the song already done. I had already, already done the chorus and everything. And I was in the studio mixing it down. And Mad Lion happened to be working with uh, our engineer Seasick also. And he heard the song. He was like, I want to jump on that one. So basically, we uh, the night we were mixing the song, actually the last night of mixing and everything, we, ended up having to, we sent all the files to their studio session. He relayed the chorus down. and. And, and, and bless me with, you know, that, that, that good extra spice and seasoning that I think the song needed. So, peace to Mad Lion. That's all. That's all you get. That's a possibility, though. It's a possibility. Let's move. Zeta Stone Groove, Universal Language, and it was produced by Redmatic and Bobo. They had a routine already that they had going on that I really liked, and they kind of lent me the routine for my record, and I just really just took something they already had going on and had been rocking live, and you know, took a recording of it and added vocals to it. Peace Queen. Peace Peace Queen. We have been live and direct in full effect deconstructing my first solo LP on Decon, Crown of Thorn.